welcome back to Crystal Rainstone Boutique. Today we'll be doing a graduation cap for U of A. So here's the template. I've already cut it out and I'm going to outline this outside part in crystal and then the A will be in light sign. I've cut it out and I have already taken my marker and outlined it. I'm going to do the crystal in SS21 first. Okay. I have outlined my A, so I'm going to take this off, and I can see my A. Put that aside, because I'll need that later. I'm actually going to cut out the A part and fill that in, so I know exactly what my design looks like before I continue on. So I take my scissors, because I've outlined the outside of the A. There's the outside, and I'm going to take my scissors and cut the inside of the A. Here's my A, and I'm gonna line it up in here like it was on the original template. And you can just get these templates off the internet and just print it up on regular paper. So, here it is, and I'm gonna tape it down so I can then outline the A. Okay, so now I have outlined my A. I have this outside outline is going to be done in crystal, SS20. And then the inside A is going to be done in light cyan, SS16, mixed with a couple other sizes. Okay, here we go. I'm going to take my syringe. I use the pink one. I'm just going to do a little section right now. I'm going to follow this outside line because we're doing the crystal first. Need a thin line and then lift up like that. Sometimes you'll get little spider webs, but those will go away. You pick this, I use my stick, and I'm gonna pick up the rhinestone, and you just need to tap it gently. And as soon as this touches the glue, it will release. And then you can just give it a gentle push. Okay, I just ran across a couple pointers, so I just wanted to point them out to you. We decided on the SS20. Um, when I did the corners of the A, I noticed the SS20 would be too big so I wouldn't have a nice sharp edge. So I decided to add a couple SS10s and 16, and I have a couple of SS6 in there. So each project is going to be different because I'm unsure of what size you're going to print up and you know what you like. Okay, I have completed my outline of the A. And remember I just use smaller stones for the corners. And also when I'm working, it, I like to have my little tray on top of here and it picks up easier, faster. So now I'm going to fill in my A that's outlined. And I have an SS16 in light cyan and an SS6 in light cyan for the little corners. Okay, I have completed my project and here's the A. Did the light cyan and crystal. Now when it has set and dried for a complete of 24 hours, you can get a little paper towel with some Windex on there and do a gentle wipe on the rhinestones and then I'll clean it right up. For this project, I ended up using SS20 and Crystal. I used one gross. Light Cyan 16, two gross. Light Siam 10, half gross, and Light Siam 6, half gross. And I just did a different um, design inside the A. I just laid them out unevenly. I filled out my outside with the SS16 and then filled in the rest with the different sizes sporadically. And there's your U of A cap.